What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Vanity Spells channel, and I'm back with another video. So today, I'm telling y'all about what y'all should be doing to be booked and busy. Well, not really booked and busy, but what you should be doing as a dance artist. So basically, you want to join a talent agency. Like, make sure you get with a model agency whatever you want to do if you want to model dance whatever make sure you're with an agency like don't just be out here popping up at any and everybody audition like don't do that i did the same thing when i was young coming up that was too dumb like real dumb i just can't believe i would be that dumb like i thought i knew everything and didn't know nothing y'all that's super dumb don't do it because a lot of times they'll have like posts on social media like I need 10 dancers for a major artist. Who's the major artist? Who? Like, who gonna be there? Like, I could have an audition and say I need 50 dancers for a little baby and little baby don't know me. And y'all come out, y'all fly out, and now y'all wasting y'all time. And then sometimes people charge for auditions. So now you just pay for nothing. Because I don't know little baby for real. Like, you know, stuff like that. So... If you are with a talent agency, they will represent you and get you the best bookings because I am a part of a talent agency and everything I get is good. It's always quality. Like we communicate through a group chat. I know the people in real life, but they send me the bookings through a group chat. So like they send me commercials for Nike, Pepsi, like it be so many top tier commercials and just like award shows but sometimes i don't fit the requirements sometimes they might need a latina they might need somebody that's plus size they might need somebody that look like a kid like it just depends on what the gig is or whatever but they always send me quality bookings it's never nothing that's rinky ding something that's questionable everything is always professional and i will say this the agencies they do get a cut of your money but it's never nothing that you're gonna feel like it's not an effect they get you like the best amount of money. So whatever they take is literally nothing. Still booked, still busy, still got on red bottoms. Like that's what the checks be giving. Like it don't be giving, I'm struggling. No, it be giving like it's good checks. And then they'll fight for more money for you. Like I had did a show, like we already had our pay set. But after the show, they was able to fight for more money because we had on heels and we was dancing on this like weird platform that was dangerous. So they had got hazard pay for us. So I'm all for talent agencies because they get the job done, y'all. Like literally get the job done. And they always professional. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Like I know everybody. Well, not everybody, but I'm real familiar with the people. I don't got to like be like, is they on that? Is she on that? Like you be more comfortable when you know that somebody got the booking for you and it's something that's top tier versus you like oh who is justin stay fresh like he created a post and you like where where justin stay fresh at because you never seen him before like you know stuff like that you want to make sure you know everybody if something go down you know who to go to or your people know who to go to because justin so fresh can't deactivate his instagram not what you got you know so you want to make sure that you in the right place every opportunity is not a good opportunity because sometimes people they host fake stuff all the time to get girls like y'all it's it's for real out here like don't don't be naive don't be so hyped to be on set or to be seen because you can end up harming yourself not you harming yourself but because you put yourself in that position to be harmed so you have to really just be smart about what you do and how you moving um when you be on set when you be on set don't be drinking don't be smoking even if they offer it to you like you know just be professional be in your right mind because yeah an artist may not like the main artist may not want nothing to do with you but they might have an entourage you don't know who these 50 Ooh, I almost said it. You don't know who these 50 boys is. Like, you don't know them. You don't know them. So, you know, they can do something to you. Like, you just you just never know. I say just make sure you sober so you can know what's going on. Like, so if something happened, you ain't got to be like, oh, did I really see that? No, you saw what you saw. You felt how you felt. 
you know, stuff like that. You got to make sure that you be in your right mind. Um, and then so you can be professional. Like, you don't want to be sloppy and look sloppy, especially if a talent agency got you this job or gig. A talent agency will get you the booking. You will get there. You will show up. You will be ready to dance. But there's people on set that got this. They got that. They got this. You are grown. You are individual. So you can partake in these things and then look stupid, look sloppy. And they like, oh, we not working with her no more because it's sloppy. Like, they don't want to hear that you're sorry. But you got to be careful. You got to be careful about what you do. You want to be sober. You want to know what you're doing. You want to know what everybody around you is doing just for safety and just to remain professional. Because anytime I do a gig, I don't want people to know me. Like... I want you to be like, oh, that red girl killing it. But I don't want to be like, oh, that's the girl who was doing this. That's the girl who was drunk. You don't want to be that girl. Like, don't be that girl that's trying to be the littest. Like, boo, corny, corny, you're lame. Like, I don't like that girl. Like, oh, another shot. Another shot. This shot is like, baby, calm, like, calm down. Where are, you, where are you going? Like, where are you going? Like, you know, you got to pace yourself. But okay on set don't pace yourself don't drink don't smoke i do not recommend that because like you just want to make sure you remain a professional like because like i said i want to be the person that nobody know you know i come in to get the job done that's it like you just don't want to be that girl because a lot of times these agencies they'll use the same people like if they know that you're professional you be on time you don't give nobody no problems. They will use you because they can trust you. When you come to a set and you knew you want to make the best impression because you might not get booked again. Like, baby, it's a lot of dancers out here. It's very competitive. So you want to make a good impression. So I just don't recommend you smoking, drinking, and just not being in your right mind because you're going to get on set and look a mess. Then you're going to be home crying. We don't have time for that. We don't have time for that. Like, just be sober. Um, Yeah, and then sometimes, like, you just want to be safe. When people know that you ain't in your right mind, they can take advantage of you. Like, you might feel like you are right, but you might not be all right. You might just be a little too lit, and now you look a mess. And then now you're in the closet with this man that you don't know because you was letting your guard down. Like, no, you have to really just <laughs> pay attention and just be professional. Like, if you want to turn up, Turn up with your friends next week at your house. Like, I don't know. But, yeah. Can't be on everybody's set. Can't take every opportunity. Like, you ain't gonna miss nothing that's for you. That's one thing I will say. Um, Because a lot of times, y'all, I be getting so many offers. And I be calling the whole world. Like, everybody I trust. Should I do this? Because, I don't know. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you everything from A to Z. Because I just don't be trusting the people, y'all. And it's just like, it's nothing personal. It's just like, I don't I don't trust you. I don't know you. Um, yeah. It's nothing personal. Like, it's nothing personal. This is another thing, too. You want to make sure you get your money. Like, a lot of times, people will book you and not like people that have... Okay, I'm not talking about the people that got, I don't know the word, like, okay, for example, like, Moneybag, yo, um, Trina, um, City Girls, like, stuff like that, they are a part of, like, big, whatever, they're big, so sometimes payment may take a few minutes, not minutes, but it may take a few weeks to get to you, but on the other hand, Johnny that rap in a strip club, you might get there, do your job, and not get paid at all. Like, not on no delay type of stuff. Just, like, they, they played you. So, you just got to be careful, y'all. Like, everything is not good. That's why I just say be a part of a talent agency. If you don't make it, you got to keep trying. Like, train, go to class. Get with these choreographers, like, make sure you're known in a good way. Because, like, a lot of times, if you go to a class and you keep on going and then the choreographer know you, they'll, like, they'll give you that yes that you need to get into the agency if they're a part of the agency, you know? So, you got to just play the game right. But don't just be trying to be seen or prove nobody wrong. Like, I'm going to show y'all I'm the best dancer ever. So, I'm booked with this person. No, because you might be booked. And then 
okay we ain't gonna say that but you know just be safe but i'm gonna put in the comments some talent agencies and make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all next time